Hey guys, so one guy asked me about this message that he got on YouTube that said start making money with YouTube. Now, that's basically meaning that YouTube is saying that there is a video or more that you have uh, on your channel that could potentially be accepted for revenue. Now, I'm going to show you the process step by step of getting revenue. Alright, so this video right here, how to use inside on YouTube, has no ads on it. Does not have ads on it. It says right here, enable revenue sharing. So this is your first step to getting money through YouTube, through Google. Because, you know, Google bought YouTube. So here is how you do it. Um, when you get this little message that says enable revenue sharing, you want to click it. Okay? So I think this is a partner only feature right here, allow ads with this video. But it's basically the same for you guys too. So does this so then you want to check yes or no to if it has graphics, uh, movie visuals, video game software visuals, performance, concert event shows, whatever, music, all this different stuff. Basically what's happening is YouTube want the guys at YouTube want to make sure that nothing in your video is copyrighted. So like for instance, um when people make co when people make commentaries for like Call of Duty, for instance, they will press yes for video game or software visuals. The reason is they're playing Call of Duty. It's a video game visual. I mean, it's common common sense. So basically, they're just making sure that there is no copyrighted um, stuff on your video. So how do you insert on YouTube? Graphics or pictures? No, there's no pictures. You movie or TV visuals? No. Video game or software visuals? No. Performance including concerts, events, and shows. Nope. Music including lyrics, cover songs, and background music. Uh, no. So yeah, I have nothing, none of these I have in my video. It's basically just a tutorial. Now here is where it's per now here is where you can basically put whatever you want. YouTube wants to have as much information as possible. Because I put no on everything, it basically makes it a little bit easier for YouTube. Because they don't, they don't have to look for graphics and pictures, you know, all the stuff that I checked no for. Now I can just say, for instance, I own the video, this is my video, um, I made this, I own the rights to it. Basically, you're just saying, this video is yours, and, if, and say it wasn't yours. You have to tell YouTube that you got, you got permission to use that video. So I'm going to write, I own this video and the rights to it. This is basically just telling YouTube, this is my video, I made it, I own it, I don't have to ask anyone for permission to use it. Um, what I like to do at the end of all my submissions for revenue is I always say thank you, just because I want to thank YouTube, I want to thank Google for allowing me to do this. Um, usually, if if there's if I say yes, like for instance, if I did a Call of Duty video, I would put yes, I would usually say a little more than just this. Just the uh, I would usually say a little more than I own this video. I would say like I made this commentary for Call of Duty. Um, I own the video. I own the content. This gameplay is mine. Basically, just that. Basically, you're just saying all this, everything that is shown is yours. So, but I could add something like this is a tutorial. I'll add that. Um, and yeah, I think that looks good. And I submit. You press submit. That's it. Um, now it'll just get see video submitted for review. Now I'm going to keep recording once it gets accepted. Now I just want to let you know, for the people that are not partners, it could take up to two weeks. And before I was before I was a partner, it usually did take about a week to two weeks. But because I'm a partner, it usually takes around one to ten minutes, which is pretty awesome. It's one of those great great features of being a partner. So once it gets accepted, I'll show you what it looks like. All right, I'll talk to you then. Bye. So it's been about two minutes, and as you can see on the right, there is an advertisement for AT&T. And uh, now I'm going to show you a partner-only feature that you might have been wondering how that happens. So if you've seen the advertisements that some people have on their videos, that's actually an advertisement before the video starts. I'm going to show you how to put that on your video. What you want to do is you want to, from this, if you're on this screen, you want to press edit annotation and then info and settings. All right, now from there, you want to go all the way down to where it says advertising options. From there, click that. Now you want to click allow in stream advertising for this video. 
click that press save changes alright now I'm gonna show you what it looks like um, let's see if it happens the first time see as you can see there's an advertisement right here so yeah that's basically what I'm talking about there's an advertisement right here and uh, that's the in-stream ad and that guys is my entire video I wanna thank you guys for watching if you haven't already please subscribe for more videos added very very often tips unboxings tricks anything like that if you want to suggest a video please put it in the comment below this video was actually suggested to me and I'll talk to you guys later thanks again for watching bye